Hi, my name is Konstantin Papanikolaou. I go by CP for short. I'm the director of the film titled The Ordinary Skier, starring Seth Morrison. I got into doing films, uh, videos, as a hobby when I was in college. I've always felt like everybody's just settling to make ski videos. How come nobody's really getting into the heavy-hitting narrative stuff? It's so rich and it's so untapped. And that's how people get in these situations, taking chances. We could have just done the easy thing, but with doing a documentary, you have no idea. You know that there's something there, but you don't really know what it is. You don't know what it's gonna look like. You're running a company and you're trying to do a movie that's gonna promote your guy and your products and everything, and this is gonna be like a major deal for you. To set sail on something where you have choice A is do the thing that you know what it's gonna look like and you know it's gonna work, or you can take a real gamble and do something that you have no idea. I'm eternally grateful to the Oakley guys. It's a really bold move for them to do that. I don't think anybody else would have done that. Greg Strokes, Matt Swanson, and Pat McElvain, the Oakley guys. I'm eternally grateful for giving us this opportunity. We had no idea what we would be doing there on any given day. We just go up the mountain with an idea maybe, but most of the time, nothing would materialize. Dude, you want a daisy chain? You got one Not else? having the helicopter, having to really hike everywhere and climb everything, you can't take a bunch of fancy gizmos with you. These guys did really, really well today. They flew up the climbs. You really just reduce to the bare necessities, which are a camera and a tripod. We just had a really good day. I mean, we got to work out a little bit. Some of the best stuff in the movie is being filmed on a little $300 point-and-shoot Panasonic camera and he's just sitting there while he's belaying Seth down the line. He's sitting there just videoing it. And you're free hanging right away. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't really see much. When you go into those environments, there's all kinds of dangers all around you. Forces that can just unleash at any moment. Falling rock, falling ice. That's it. It's game over. You know? Bad weather comes in. Next thing you know, you can't see anything. So you have to be really quick. It's crazy to be in a, in a spot like that, in a face like that, knowing that you got these ice axes and crampons and you can just go flying down the mountain with your backpack on all If the you to have too many people and you slow the program down, you've taken away the one variable you have control over, which is time. Then we're all roped up, we're attached, we would have been, it could have been really messy. You know, I'll hike my ass off to get the material that these guys need and I'll work my ass off to make them look really good, to represent them properly, you know? And I like to think maybe if you're doing the job right, you can make the best guy in the world look even better. Better than reality, in a way. The demand is for the talent, and You put your ego aside, go out there and make it all about the guys that are putting their lives online, make them look really good. And that's really been the formula for me. Don't go do something because it's gonna have a payday for you, you know? You need to get involved in something that's, that you're really into. If you're really into it and you just roll with it, it has a funny way of working itself out. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. It's the coolest thing that I've ever been a part of. It exceeded my expectations of what I thought it would be in the end.